Hi, and welcome to this Pro Tools Expert review of Source VC by Source Elements. Source VC is a multi channel native AIX plugin that works as a software monitor controller solution, controllable by any assignable MIDI or ASCII keyboard. This also includes the original Source Talkback iOS app, which has been updated to include the volume controller. This plugin addresses a basic need that multi channel audio Pro Tools HD users have been looking for for years the ability to be able to control the volume of and non destructively solo, mute, and calibrate the main 5.1, 7.1, or even 7.1.2 monitor outputs fully in the box. It is very common to find multi channel audio interfaces that have a soft and or hardware monitor output control, but these are most usually stereo only. The notable exception to the rule is the Presonus Quantum, which can gang all of its analog outputs but does not offer any enhanced control. Source VC can be placed as an insert on your main monitor path in any format from stereo up to 7.1.2. The user interface is clean, simple, and self explanatory to anyone who's ever used a surround monitor controller. You can easily set up any of the functions to respond to MIDI input or even keys on a QWERTY keyboard. When mixing in surround, having multiple speakers around you can easily lead to confusion, so at times it is very handy to be able to selectively solo or mute monitor channels non destructively, which means that the act of soloing will have no destructive effect on the actual mix going through Pro Tools. With Source VC, it is really easy to check what's coming out of each speaker and do things like muting the LFE to check how much input it has to the mix as a whole. Here I'm using Spanner to show the various speaker outputs on this 7.1.2 mix. I can solo and mute any speaker on the monitor path and control the overall level on the faders. There is also an iOS app which has been integrated into the Source Talkback app. This is simplicity itself to set up and full instructions are clearly given within the app. There is two-way feedback. So if you adjust the controls on the plugin, it's reflected on the app and vice versa. Being a standard AAX plugin, you can do like all plugins and store presets. I have two presets here, one for Dolby Home Atmos and another for mixing 7.1.2 for theatrical playback in cinemas. This is a really simple but utterly essential plugin if you mix the RAM material in the box on a Mac. Once you get used to having it there, you'll be lost without it. For mixing surround material, especially now in Atmos, it's absolutely worth the $175 price tag. Thanks for watching.